I am absolutely honored to be here tonight to present the Alex Scott Crystal Cup Award to Jeff Benjamin, Jeff Michaud, and Mark Betry because I've had the very great pleasure of being a part of their work in the past and I am in awe of what they have accomplished. It goes without saying that they are experts in the culinary field, but what really impresses me is that they genuinely care about each and every child out there with cancer, including me. Even though to them, I could have been just one other story, one other face, one other statistic, they listened to me when I shared my story with them and they remembered me again and again. I went to a couple of their events and they always greeted me personally. Today they still ask about me and want to know that I'm doing well. And I cried when I was offered to present them with this award today. I have been battling my childhood cancer for 10 years, yet I rarely ever have cried, not even upon my diagnosis, because I have never had a choice. I was thrust into this world and my only option has been to be a part of it and fight back. But these men have always had a choice and they have chosen to fight back with me and all the other children with cancer. They have entered a harsh world by choice and choose to do whatever they can to make it better. And for that, I am forever grateful to them and forever in awe. So thank you, Jeff, Jeff and Mark, and thank you all for being here. And I'm honored to be here. On behalf of the Vetri Foundation, we are so honored and humbled to accept this year's Crystal Cup. It's hard to believe that it's been almost eight years since the first meeting with the Scots when we said, hey, I think that maybe some of our chef friends might help out a little bit, and there's a chance we might raise a little money. To date, there are four annual chef events across the country, and this year they will raise over $2 million. So I think it's working out. <laughs> But Mark, Jeff, and I don't kid ourselves into thinking this has been a solo journey. When Liz and Jay called to say that we would be this year's honorees, we were pretty blown away. You might remember we were in the middle of a national election back then. It was a little bit contentious. And the tagline on the news that night was, you didn't build that. And both sides were trying to figure out what that meant. And I went home and I, I think I knew. Because we didn't build this. We helped to foster the notion that more could be done through our network of friends. But it was built on the backs of 7,000 stand hosts in every single state, just like the Smith family, who collectively raise millions of dollars every year for the foundation. And the volunteers like the Walshes, who give selflessly of their time every time they're asked. It was created by the incredible foundation board, most of whom are here tonight, and they always give whenever they're asked, wherever they're asked. Over 240 volunteers of the Vetri Foundation every year who donate countless hours. Of course, it's kept together by the ALSF staff who just like their leaders are passionate and committed. This isn't a job to any of them. They deserve our thanks. And of course, the, the original builder, Alex, is who we're here to honor tonight. The original great chef, who inspired our event with her recipe, served one cup at a time, and has motivated countless thousands to join her fight, allowing the funding of over 160 researchers and over $60 million raised to date. And in just a few moments, everyone in this room is going to have a chance to increase that number. Let's make Alex proud tonight. Alex, Mark, Jeff, and I are honored to hold on to this crystal cup for you, but it will remain yours. We are simply stewards of what you have started, and I think often of that first meeting with your mom when she told me that she was pretty excited that culinarians were going to get involved, that you always wanted to travel to Paris and sample all the food that the chefs had prepared. I would have loved to have taken you to Italy and shown you where they really did it. You have given us so much, inspired so many, and made more of an impact in your short time here than any of us ever can. So tonight, our entire Vetri Foundation family, 
can only humbly say to you, thank you, Alex, for letting us be a part of your fight. We won't let you down. <laughs>